Hi, I'm Shesh Tuli, a PhD student at the Department of Computing, Imperial College London. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to use the Radon framework for automated deployment of serverless applications on a private edge cluster. To do this, we'll leverage an open source uh, serverless platform, OpenFast, and we'll deploy it on a lightweight Kubernetes K3S cluster. And all of this would be hosted on a Raspberry Pi based environment. For data storage, we'll use Minio buckets, which is used for uh, deployment of containers in a private cloud environment. And we'll use custom open fast triggers to call our function. All of this has been integrated with an Android based smartphone gateway. So in this particular application, what will happen is that uh, a smartphone will capture an image. It will upload it on a Minio source bucket that will call a thumbnail generation function which will output that thumbnail generated image to a target bucket. And this will be again shown on the smartphone gateway. And this idea can be further extended to include uh, data pipelines, for example, using Minify and host end-to-end uh, -end serverless deployment. So this is the uh, Raspberry Pi cluster we will be using for this demo which is connected in our local LAN. Uh, so there are 16 Raspberry Pis hosted on this and all of these are connected via a K3S cluster. So all of the function implementation of the OpenFast functions as well as the deployment scripts are available online, open source as part of this GitHub repository. And I'll be following the readme instructions of uh, this repository as part of this demonstration some of which I've already completed, like the prerequisites of installing Opera, deploying the K3S cluster, and installing OpenFast. And uh, I'll, I've already built the Docker image for the thumbnail generation function. All, all of the scripts are available in this repository. And let me first now SSH to the local node. So I'll SSH to worker1, which is the host name of this Raspberry Pi device. So I've SSHed to uh, this particular local node, Raspberry Pi node. And this, on the top right, you can see the um, YAML file that we'll, we'll be using to deploy our uh, name generation serverless function. And this is an Opera YAML file. This with uh, the inputs that we'll specify, like the host name, Minio user, Minio secret key, uh, the bucket input, bucket output, um, and the in the image name and the function name, all, all of these can be def defined as part of the inputs.yaml file. And this can be automated also to as part of the radon eclipse G instance. So this, uh, if if I go to the radon GM, GMT and I search in the service templates, there is a thumbnail generation RPI service template already available in the radon blueprints, and all of the topology has already been implemented for this particular demo. So this is the uh, binary graphical modeling tool uh, that, that uh, is part of the Radon framework. And as you can see that the Radon nodes and the Radon particles uh, have been already linked together via various relationship types. So we have a MinIO source bucket, we have a MinIO target bucket, we have a thumbnail generation RPI function, and an RPI platform which configures the complete RPI uh, function in deployment. And as you can see here, this is the same as the Tosca template that I'll be using here. And as part of the GMT, I can export it, the Caesar file, and I can download the Caesar file and then transfer it to my master node of, uh, of the local LAN. I've already transferred the Caesar file for this particular demonstration. And this master node also has um, a MinIO server running. Uh, so this is the repository that we'll be using. And also uh, an instance of the OpenFast uh, platform with a sample figlet function. So let me now deploy the service template. So this is first creating these buckets. So it will create these two buckets 
are called original and resized the source and the target bucket for our functions this takes uh, a few seconds it's done so as you can see now that there are two buckets original and resized both of them are empty for now and it, it is also now deploying the function the image resize function that we had uh, so this is the function that was deployed and i've also created a bucket notification relationship type for triggering the serverless function and let me sh now show you how it works so i'll connect my smartphone android smartphone and as you can see here so let me first capture a very simple image uh, image of myself and um, this is uh, an extension of the amazon s3 communication application because minio apis are very similar and we have already specified the uh, url the, the ip and the host port for the minio server that is deployed in this lan with the access key and the secret keys and let me first connect to the original bucket i'll upload the latest image let me show it to you so this is the image that i uploaded and hopefully it should have called the open fast function and it should have created a thumbnail image in the resize bucket so this is what it is right now so this is the converted jpeg file let me show it to you as well so this is uh, the image file that was created as part of the thumbnail with uh, a lower resolution compared to what, what we had uploaded this can also be seen uh, in the minio browser uh, the original image being 1.83 mb and the resized version just being 4 kb which can be used as a thumbnail for any application and yeah that's it for this particular demonstration if you have any questions just feel free to send me an email and we Happy to reply uh, with any queries. Thank you.